take a look at this graph and think about the motion shown in this graph. This graph is in two distinct sections here. One segment on the graph is there and then another one there. What does that mean? Specifically, you need to think about the slope of these two segments, how steep they are. Remember we said that when the slope is not very steep, that means the object is moving not very fast. And when the slope is steep, it's moving fast. This first segment on the graph takes place over these three seconds. And then this next segment on the graph takes place over these two seconds, from t equals 3 to t equals 5. This means that during these first three seconds, it was moving slowly, where the graph isn't as steep, and then during the next two seconds, it was moving more quickly. So when we're asked, what does the graph mean, we can say, it moved slowly, for two seconds, I'm sorry, moved slowly for three seconds, and then quickly for two seconds. And specifically, we can see exactly what happened on the graph. This point zero zero on the graph means that at time zero, it was at position zero. And this point right here means that at time three it was at position three because that's a three on my t-axis right there so that means during this three seconds it went three meters or three feet rather and then this point on the graph right there means that at five seconds it was over here at position nine feet at that time it was at that position so that means during this next two seconds it went from this position to that position it went that far which would be uh, six six feet we can use that to answer the questions below we can tell exactly how fast the object moved at the different times so from zero to three seconds the average speed will be the distance divided by the time. And we're just thinking about zero to three seconds. So again, look at this point on the graph. This means at zero seconds it was at position zero, and at three seconds it was at position three. So the distance it moved during that time was that far, three feet. So the distance, I'll write three feet, and the time, of course, from zero to three seconds is three seconds. 3 over 3 is just 1. In other words, those 3's cancel out, and we're left with 1, but this feet and second are still there, so it's 1 foot per second. That's how fast it was moving during the first 3 seconds. Now look back at the graph. From 3 to 5 seconds, that's this time interval. At 3 seconds, it was right there. At 5 seconds, it was right there. So it went from 3 to 9. And as we said earlier, that distance is 6 feet. So it went 6 feet this far, 6 feet, during this time, 2 seconds. And we'll use those numbers here. Again, the average speed is distance over time. And now we're talking specifically about this time from 3 to 5 seconds. And we said it went 6 feet. And from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, that's, as you see on the graph, that's a 2 second time interval right there. So it went 6 feet during those 2 seconds. And then we can reduce this fraction. 6 and 2 there, 6 over 2 reduces to 3. And as before, we have feet in the numerator and seconds in the denominator, so it's three feet per second. When we do calculations like this, we're actually calculating the slope of the line. Mathematically, this one foot per second was the slope of this first segment on the graph. And then our second calculation, the three feet per second, three is the slope of this segment on the graph. And the mathematical idea of slope is what we'll look at next.